using teletracking for emergency department. Emergency department would use teletracking on the case of a decision to admit. Once the decision to admit has been made, you would need to select the patient search icon in the toolbar at the top of your screen. You would then search ideally by NHS number, hospital number, visit number, however in this instance I'm going to search by last name. Now all the patients for the surname test appear. To make a bed request for a patient I am going to click once on the name column of my patient. I am going to select patient action create bed request. I am going to fill in admit diagnosis. Consultant if necessary. Hospital service. Level of care. Discipline. Bed custom attributes. Click to search. Perhaps they need a bariatric bed. I can click to select. Perhaps they need a monitored bed. I would click save. If there were no attributes identified, I would also need to select this. Isolation type, I would select to update. Patient custom attributes, again I would search. Perhaps they have a falls risk, I would tick as appropriate. Perhaps they have a disability, I can click to expand and click dementia. And click save. Any other comments I can fill in the free text bottom as below. Origin ward I should update to from where the request was made. This should be ED majors in this case. I now need to click save and close. You can now see the person I had made a bed request for has appeared at the top of my list. You need to check this timestamp on the left. It should be green which means the request is activated and the bed request will now appear in your ED bed requests tab. If it is red it means it is not active and you need to click to activate the request. If I click on the ED bed request tab I can now see the patient I have just made the request for. Look at script. To badge a patient, I need to go to the RTLS badge column. This stands for Real Time Location System, and it is a system by which patients are automatically discharged off teletracking and the bed cleaning request is alerted once they are discharged off a ward. To badge a patient I would click once in the RTLS badge column. I then can scan the number or if my scanner breaks I can manually type in the number on the barcode on the badge by omitting the first two digits. Click OK, check it's correct, and close. The badge is now attached to the patient for their whole patient journey. If I click on it, I have options to unbadge or rebadge the patient if necessary. If I wish to cancel a bed request, I would click again once on the name in my ED bed requests tab. I would select action, cancel bed request, click save and close.
and you'll see that the name has now been removed from my ED bed request tab. For my patient that I now have an active bed request for, I need to now click ready to move when the patient is stable and ready to go. This means that control centre will assign a bed to that patient. Even though I've made the bed request, they will not assign a bed before ready to move is activated. To activate ready to move, I would need to click once in the ready to move cell associated with my patient. Not only does this now let Control Centre know that they now need to assign a bed, but it starts an automatic timestamp to time how long the transfer process takes. Now, to order a porter for my patient to take them to their new location, I would need to click once in the Transport Status cell. The history should display at the bottom. I would need to click on the green bar Add Patient Request. The origin should already automatically populate. I would need to search to select my destination. This would be according to the bed that had already been assigned by Control Centre. I would then select as appropriate. I would then select mode of travel as appropriate, isolation type job status pending as you want the porter now. If they had a specific appointment, for example x-ray, you could put it in as an appointment date and time but pending is most likely the one you would use in the emergency department. Over time you can also select destinations from your recents tab or add and remove from your favourites. You finally need to put in travel requirements. Perhaps your patient is agitated and you need to let portering know. You would click once on the available and you would click on the right arrow key to move it into your selected box. If you no longer require that attribute, you would click on it again and click on the left arrow key to move it out of your selected box. Once you are satisfied with the information, you would then click Save. And now you can check the details. You also have an option to click Add to Sequence if necessary. That means that you can add to sequence another job so perhaps they needed to go to X-ray on the way to Windsor Ward. You would request first the first job for X-ray and then the second job would show up as a possible until the last one had been completed. And then you would select to go to the ward. So you can add in more than one job if necessary. There is also a return patient option to create a round trip if, for example, they were just going to X-ray and coming back to Majors or somewhere else. Once I'm satisfied with the information, I can click Save and Close and Close. You can now see that the Transport Status option has updated to Pending, Red Pending. This means that the request has gone through to the porter, however they haven't accepted the job yet. When the porter is taking the patient to their new location, they will click In Progress on their iPod and this will update to a yellow In Progress. When they have completed the job, they will click Completed on their iPod and this will update to a grey Completed and then fade off your screen after a few minutes so you know that that job has been done. Once the bed has been assigned by Control Centre, the assigned bed will appear in here. This is how you will know to fill in the portering request for them to go to their ward. It will show the exact bed, bed bay and ward in here. To request an item, you would need to go into the Care Support tab 
and click on Transport Tracking. This is how you would request medical equipment. You would need to click on the green shopping trolley icon here. You would then select your item as appropriate. This is all medical equipment including gases, nebulizers, bloods and medication. Your origin should automatically be populated. I would need to search to select my destination in the same way as previously. I can also select from my recents. I would then click save and close. This request has now been made. Here in my dashboard I can also view my history of jobs ordered for patients and items. I can click in each of the columns to see a full list of all of my jobs of any particular status and if I wish to search for a particular patient I can search for them in the top right hand corner. You also have this instant notify function if you need to send a quick message to perhaps control centre or portering supervisor or anyone else if there was an issue. They all receive this message instantly. You should also get alerts through at the top of your screen if a bed has been assigned or if someone sends you a message. This will flash red. You can click on it to view. At the moment there are no screen alerts but if there were some you would need to click mark as red. To set up your alerts in the first instance you would need to go into your notifications and your screen alerts will initially show up as disabled and you need to make sure they're clicked as enabled to show your screen alerts. Finally, to get any reports off for all of your auditing purposes, you can click on this icon here and select the appropriate report. It will print you off an instant PDF. To adjust your view, you can click on the icons as follows. And select to change your views so you can view more than one area in emergency department. If you need to transfer your patient between ED bed requests or ED majors minors without a porter, you would need to make sure that the origin is updated on that bed request on the patient information to the appropriate location. End of video.